Hi everyone, this is C.A. Nikita and welcome to my channel. I help people migrate from traditional accounting softwares to cloud-based solutions like Zoho Books. Today in this video, we are going to be talking about a tool. A lot of people out there want to use Zoho Books, Zoho Inventory, but at the same time, want to continue using Tally for accounting. So we are going to talk about a connector between Zoho and Tally. This connector will help you move data from Zoho to Tally if you're someone who doesn't want to move from Tally and if you're someone whose CA is still insisting that the accounts be maintained on Tally because that's how they've been working. Before we dive into the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you've been watching for long enough, it's time you subscribe. And hey, watch the video till the end because for all the existing Zoho Books users, I have an announcement to make at the end of this video. So don't go anywhere, watch till the end. Let's begin. Hi everyone. In this webinar, we are going to be discussing how do you connect Zoho Inventory to Tally? How do you connect Zoho Inventory and or Zoho Books to Tally using a connector tool? This tool is developed by Octopus Techno LLP. It will help you maintain data seamlessly both on Zoho and on Tally. So in this webinar, we are going to be discussing who can use this tool, what can this tool do for you, what are the features it offers, in which scenarios can this tool be helpful. We look at the tool, we take a small demo of the tool, then I will give my observations about the tool and then we can cater to all the questions that you have about the tool and what it can do for you and how it can be useful for you. So let's begin. Question one is who can use this tool and what exactly is this tool? Now, a lot of times you might want to use Zoho Inventory or for that matter, Zoho Books for your business. However, your child accountant or a group of accountants who's working for you, they are more comfortable with Tally for accounting. So in such scenarios, you can use this tool and transfer data from Zoho Inventory or Zoho Books to tally, meaning you can maintain your year-end accounts for the purpose of audit on tally and at the same time, you can get all the amazing features, cloud-based features that Zoho offers for your business. You can use all those features. You can use the Zoho ERP for your organization. So this is a win-win scenario if you are someone who insists on using tally for accounting. Now, of course, it goes without saying that Zoho Inventory and Zoho Books in itself are tightly integrated and whenever you're entering data on Zoho Inventory, it automatically gets updated on Zoho Books and Zoho Books is maintaining all your books of accounts. But let's take a scenario wherein you want to maintain all your operations. You want to maintain your warehouses, the inventory for each warehouse on Zoho Inventory and you want to maintain the accounting part of all these transactions of sales, purchases, expenses, journals, all the accounting part you want to maintain on Tally. In that scenario, this tool would be really helpful. So what can the tool be used for? It can be used for automatic data import from Zoho Books or Zoho Inventory to Tally. So if you're creating invoices in Zoho Inventory, Let's say all your operations are on Zoho Inventory and you're creating sales invoices and purchase invoices. You don't have to duplicate. You don't have to enter the transactions again in Tally. You can simply use this tool and transfer all your data from Zoho to Tally. This tool, of course, helps you overcome the limitations of Tally as well because Tally Prime is not available on cloud. It's not that robust. So it's like a win-win scenario where you can use the amazing features that Zoho offers and at the same time, you can maintain your year-end accounting on Tally. So Zoho Inventory for operations and for the accounting backend, Tally. Let's look at some prerequisites before we get into the demo of the tool. So before you start using the tool, you need to ensure that you've created organizations on Zoho and Tally. They have to be with the same name, organizations. 
you can create multiple organizations. This tool gets integrated with the Zoho admin user. So if you want, you can also have multiple organizations within that user and you can transfer data for multiple organizations as well. Another prerequisite is that the tool and tally should be open simultaneously. So this is one of the prerequisites. Now let's jump into the tool and let's see how it looks. What are the activities and tasks it performs? So this is how the tool looks like. Now, if you see carefully, here you have some data that can be transferred from Zoho. You can select to migrate what needs to be transferred and then you can export it to Tally. You can also export it to Excel or XML. For instance, I have created some invoices in Zoho inventory. Now, if I want these invoices to be transferred to Tally, I can use the tool. Now, if you notice, the organization name will be the same. Okay, so you just fetch the organization. Now, what all can you transfer? You can transfer sales invoice, receipts, credit note, debit note. So if you go to the sales section of Zoho, you can transfer invoices. Within invoices, you can also create debit notes so even they can be transferred. Receipts, that is payment received, can be transferred. Credit notes can also be transferred. What else can be transferred? You can also transfer purchases. So within purchases, you can transfer bills, payment, vendor credit, expenses. So how will that be mapped? Bills would mean under purchases, bills, payments, payments made, vendor credits will be whatever credit notes that your suppliers are raising and whatever vendor credits you have raised to them and expenses. Of course, just like bills, you also might have some expenses that need to be imported. And then there are others as well, journals and fund transfer. Of course, this feature of integrating journals and fund transfer is applicable for Zoho books. So if you are maintaining already on Zoho books and you still want to maintain your year end accounts on Tally, you can use uh, the journals and fund transfer feature to transfer other transactions as well. So of course, as the name suggests, journals will help you transfer all the journal entries and fund transfer would mean all the transactions in the banking module except receipts and payments which are being transferred from here, right? So other than receipts and payments, whatever transactions are there, you can import them through fund transfer because this is applicable in case of Zoho books. Now, let's say I am creating an invoice in Zoho books. Okay, we'll just create a new invoice quickly. Let's say I'm creating this invoice on 1st of November and it's for and it's for purchase of footwear say i'm purchasing 50 quantities at 400 rupees 20000 gst at 12 percent i have saved it as draft now how does the tool work here i've created a sales invoice and the sales invoice needs to be imported to tally right I just need to select the voucher date. When was this invoice entered? Now, I have already imported these into Tally using the tool. So let's see what happens when I try to re-import all of this into Tally using the tool. Of course, you need to ensure, like I suggested, as one of the prerequisites, is that your Tally is also open simultaneously with the same organization name that is there in Zoom. So now the voucher date is from 1st November and you can use the current date here. And then you can click on import from Zoho Books. Now, as you can see, the tool is showing three invoices, invoice number 18, 19, 20. Now here, if you see action and tally, these two invoices are already there in tally. So if you see, there's a comment saying alter, whereas one invoice that I've just created, it says create. 
meaning this invoice will be created in tally and this will be altered only if I have made certain changes to these invoices. Even if you're making changes in Zoho, they can be incorporated in tally using the tool. So I'm just going to say export to tally. So here if you check the tally response, this has been created in tally. Now if I go to tally, you can go to display account sales ledger and select your period. You will see that all of these invoices have already been imported in tally and with all the details that was there in Zoho. So you didn't even have to create the item footwear in tally. You didn't have to create party name Mamta traders. You didn't have to create a sales ledger sales at 12%. All of this is fetched by the tool and automatically created. So the tool will automatically create the customer name, the item, whatever you need to create that transaction. It will also replicate the invoice number directly from Zoom. So everything will be replicated and this will happen even if you have not entered any chart of accounts trial balance. So basically you don't have any accounts in Tally. You don't have items. Despite that, the tool will create all of it on its own and all these invoices will be imported. Similarly, you can import all these other transactions as well. Receipts, credit note, debit note, purchase bill, payment, everything can be imported. Now, if you see carefully, you can also see that the status of the invoices is appearing draft and overdue. If you decide that you want to import only the draft invoices, you can just select draft and you can export to tally. Or if you just want to import only invoices with overdue status, Again, you can select overview and say export to tally. So in this manner, this tool works. And let's look at the observations from the tool. So what are my observations about the tool after using it? I've realized that this tool is really quick. If you see that it quickly imports a lot of your data from Zoho to tally. It is also easy to use. It's pretty straightforward once you start using it. It can also be used for multiple organizations, which I think is a big deal. And it gives you the best of both the worlds. Why? Because you can get all the benefits of using a robust cloud accounting software like Zoho. And at the same time, at the back end, you can maintain your accounting using Tally. So I feel it's a win-win scenario and you get the best of both the worlds. It's an amazing tool and you can give it a try if you're someone who is insisting on maintaining their accounting on Tally. We're all open for questions now. If you have any questions, please let us know. If you're someone who's already using Zoho and wants to try this connector, I'll be dropping a link to the connector in the description box down below. You can contact Office Techno LLP and they will help you with this connector. At the same time, if you're an existing Zoho user and you have some questions on some part of the software, you can put them down in the comment section and I will try and help you. Now, about the announcement that I was required to make at the end of the video, the announcement is that I conduct trainings on Zoho Books and, and one of the trainings has happened very soon. I'll drop a link to the training in the description below. And I keep conducting these trainings. So... Follow me on social media. I'll keep announcing whenever the trainings are conducted. But hey, one training is coming up soon. So don't forget to sign up for it. My name is Nikita and I'll see you guys in the next video.